Today, a quick look on how to change brakes on a Triumph Sprint GT 1050. Nice and easy. Brakes are here. You don't need an awful lot of tools. 14 mil, some spray, copper grease, and the pads. The old ones, they were getting low, grinding a little bit, not much left on them. Really, really is easy this is. While it's all on, that bolt there, and a the mallet, Allen key, tap it round and get that loose. Nice and loose before you take it off, otherwise you're never gonna do it. So you might as well use the, the force of the bike to do it. And then obviously, mallet again, and 14 mil. And they just come off nice and easy. As you get them out, this is why I've got the old uh, multi-purpose spray, is just give them a quick spray. I do it just you know, a minute before I start messing around with them all. And obviously, uh, just take them off that way. Um, and they just come off really easy. It's very, very simple these are. Um, I need to get used to fast forwarding things on these, but unfortunately I can't yet. So I uh, have to uh, bear with me for a minute. Anyway, that's it. Once you get that levered out, because at the end of the day, it's easier on the system, as I said. And it's a case of, you don't have to get the wheel off on this one. It's just a case of a little bit of wiggling, and it will come off. And there they are. And obviously what I tried to show you is that bolt comes out, this comes off, and basically they'll come out. The new ones, good old copper grease. Put it on the back side of them, and the edges. And when you get this out, give it a little clean up, and um, put a bit of copper grease and clean them up. Now, how about getting back, for me, nice and easy, my old dad's screwdriver. <laughs> And I just twist them back, they go back nice and easy, I'm sorry about the one handed bit, but you just twist in the screwdriver and you see them literally, now can you see that, if I get in there, I'm just twisting them back and opening up, make sure you get them all the way back um, to the, the back bits, and then a bit of copper grease on these bits here, on them bits, okay, a bit of copper grease on there, but as I said, because this has been there, on the, you can see it's dirty, put some copper grease on here as well, run it down, give it a good old clean inside, because obviously this has been the road salt, which is probably not the best. And then when you put the new ones back on, I say, you don't need many tools, screwdriver it and just twist it back. You can get some smart stuff that pumps it back easy, but you know, if it's a real old and maintained bike, you won't need to. So, there you go. Changing pads, front pads, rear pads, they're all the same. Getting in difficulties, um, you know, shouldn't do if they're seized then you've got problems in the first place all right bye oh check out my other videos